Alright, so here's a look at my opponent from round 7 of the video game championship, and it's against Ryan! He's one of the guys that I rode with, and a friend, so it's like, oh man, we really have to fight? But whatever. Now, he already knew about my whole Master Ball trick strategy, so I couldn't just pull that off, but he was really worried about it. I could tell even from before the fight. So he leads with Weavile and Tornadus, which I guess is an interesting lead. Um, not exactly sure what he has going on here. He had some other stuff on his team, so that's why I led with Chandelure, because I was, I don't know, anticipating something. It's a weird lead, but I didn't want to lead with Hitmontop. So he goes ahead and taunts my Togekiss. I use Follow Me, but he taunts it, and that tells me he's really afraid of this trick. So that actually works out just fine. It means I can't use Follow Me or Protect or Trick, but whatever, I got him to use a turn on that. <laughs> So I Heat Wave, Weavile hangs on with Focus Sash, but then gets burned! Oh man, that was just amazing. So I take that Weavile out before it's even a threat to Chandelure. So he goes ahead and sends out Rotom. Now, I don't know exactly what to do here, but I'm fine with this lead. I figure I'll get as much mileage out of it as possible. Because I can always Heat Wave and Air Slash. So he uses his uh, Acrobatics with the Flying Gem, takes out Togekiss. So he's very afraid of that thing. And I hit it with Shadow Ball, except, you know what, in thinking about it, I really should have hit Tornadus. But I wanted to get some damage on Rotom so I could take it out later on. I figured, you know what, it isn't going to matter too much. Um, probably could have used Heat Wave there, but I didn't think it'd really do as much. Because it split the damage. So I lose two of my Pokémon with that one hit. And I swear, I haven't had Hydro Pump miss against me once or Thunder or anything like that. So I have to use my remaining two Pokemon, uh, Hitmontop and Electivire. So I pull off the Intimidate. Probably won't make a difference at all, but maybe it'll help weaken Acrobatics. Now I kind of misplay this turn. He uses Protect on Tornadus, and I should have seen that coming. So I was trying to fake it out, and I try to hit it with Thunder Punch. I wasn't really as afraid of Rotom, and to be honest, I was hoping it missed with Hydro Pump already. Jeez, I mean, 80% accuracy. I know it's kind of alright, but whatever. So he protects with Rotom this turn, trying a little bit of that, you know, trick But I hit it with Sucker Punch. I hit the Tornadus with Sucker Punch, and it's actually enough to take out Tornadus, which is great. Thunder Punch doesn't end up doing any good because Rotom's protecting itself. So he's down to just two Pokemon now, his Thunderous and his Rotom. Now I'm feeling awful about seeing that Thunderous. I don't know what I'm going to do against it. He goes straight for the Thunder, misses because, you know, you never miss with those low accuracy attacks in this. <laughs> and he pulls off the Paralyze on Hitmontop. I'm thinking, what? Are you kidding me? So I Ice Punch the Thunderous, and I wasn't sure how much it'd do, but it actually knocks it out in one hit, and I'm feeling great about that. I'm feeling really great. Not so great about the paralysis on Hitmontop, though. And he hits for a third time with Hydro Pump. So that's three Hydro Pumps and a Thunder without missing. Uh, knocks out Electivire, and at this point I'm like, oh man, please don't be paralyzed. And I don't know if Close Combat will do enough to take it out, but I managed to pull it off, and it is enough to take out Rotom, which amazes me. So I was able to come back from that fight and pull off the win. Oh, good fight, Ryan. Good fight. I think you should have had that one, but hey, that's how it goes. Oh, man. That was, that was probably my favorite game of the thing, because it was so down to the wire. Like, you have no idea. Anyway, there was only one round after this, and I'll post that in the next uh, part of this VGC thing.